Hey friends, uh, LM4 Photo here, um, back in the garage tonight with Bertha Blue. This is my 2019 Road Glide Special, um, all blacked out with my orange trim. Um, if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that I run the Custom Dynamics products on my motorcycle. That's all of my lighting. So on the front, I've been running, uh, for my turn signals, I've been running the Pro Beam. Um, signals with the bezel, the Pro Beam bezels, and I recently picked up these Pro Beam rings. So the difference is from what I've got is these new ones here have these lights in the bezel. So these lights around the bezel here will light up, and then this one in the center then will light up with the signal lights. So I'm going to install these tonight on my Road Glide Special. And um, we're gonna show you how simple it is. And I'm gonna show you what I'm running versus what I'm swapping to. So somewhere in the video here, I'll give you a one side or another that shows you two different things. So tonight, Pro Beam Rings, we're going to swap out Custom Dynamics. So the, uh, the first thing you always need to do when you get a new product is open the box, take everything out of the box, make sure that you have what you're supposed to have. So we've got, we've got the one side, these are not left or right, they're just two in a box here, they're both the same. And then everything with Custom Dynamics, as, uh, as always, comes with detailed instructions. So this kit, um, again, is the Pro Beam Bullet Rings. So you have one left, one right, or one right and one left. Again, they don't matter. And then you have detailed instructions, and that's all that's in the box. So this is a really, really simple install. Okay, so the lights I'm going to be changing out are going to be these turn signals here. Um, on the stock Harley lenses, what you'll have is you'll just have a clear plastic cover that is over the top of this. And then in, in the very, very bottom, there should be a like a like a flat blade screwdriver slot. So what you would do is you would stick your screwdriver in there and then just twist your screwdriver and then that'll pop off. These bezels that I have are already a Custom Dynamics product. Um, this is a Pro Beam light. The difference is that these lights don't have a ring like those will have. You'll see here in a minute, I'll show you. I'll, I'll do this side first and then that side. So when you're removing this, you, it's just a firm grasp and then these with a firm grasp will pop right out. And then inside is a half turn twist, which I'll get the screwdriver here, hang on. So in, inside of here, there's a slot and you just put your flat blade screwdriver in, push in, half turn twist, and then that light is removed. So it's just as simple as that to do the install of putting the new one back in. So let me go get the new one, we'll put the new one back in, and then I'll show you left and right the difference in the two lights. So again, when putting this back in, it's 1157, so put it back in lined up with your prongs, uh, push in, half a turn. If you're having to force it, you're, you're doing too much, you're, you don't have it in correctly. So it should just be a push in and then a half a turn and it should be locked in place. If you have to force it in any way, you, you're doing too much, back it out, flip it over, try it in another direction, but you, you're not doing it correctly because there's no force necessary. The wires that come off of the back of this, if you will just twist and rotate this, just twist it around in a circle, all of the wires on the inside will kind of coil and bundle themselves in. And then once they bundle themselves in and they tuck themselves, you can just simply snap that back on. So here within one minute of this section of the video, I have installed this whole light right here on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the scene. I'm gonna go back behind the bike and um, I'm gonna activate the lights and then hopefully we can see what we're doing. Okay, so I've got the lights activated right now. So again, on this side, this side of the bike over here, this is the original Pro Beam light and it does not have the ring. I mean, it, it has a ring built in the light. It's not built into the bezel. So, so what you need to know is one is a bezel that is just a smooth bezel. And then the one on this side has the lights in the bezel. I'll give you a close up of that on uh, lit and unlit here in a little bit. 
So either way, when you hit the turn signal, you can see that the white light goes out and it turns to amber. Okay, the same on the other side, when you hit that, the white light goes out and it turns to amber and you still get that piercing uh, Custom Dynamics Pro Beam look that gets you noticed as we go. Um, other products that I have installed on my bike is the headlight here. The headlight is the True Beam headlight. And then on the sides of each, of, of each side of my headlight, I have the fillers that go in the vent holes. So the ring on my headlight is flashing amber, the side vent is flashing amber, and the turn signal down at the bottom is flashing amber. But you can see when you turn it off, then uh, it goes back to a white light. Works the same way if you activate your four-way flashers. Um, same thing, the white light goes out and uh, the amber is illuminated. So you can, you can again choose for yourself this light over on the left is the Pro Beam with just the smooth bezel. This one on the right is the Pro Beam with the rings bezel. Okay, right now, what is activated is just the center light, and that's going to be amber. And then when you turn it off, you see what you get for the, uh, the two lights. So I think the brightness is equivalent on both. Um, I, I don't, from looking in the camera here, from what I'm seeing, and uh, looking on the monitor, I can't see that there's a difference in the brightness. Um, you know, high beam, high beam on the headlight um, versus versus low beam. But as far as the brightness on the whites in the turn signal, I can't really tell any difference in uh, what we're looking at. So there it is. Again, it's going to be on this side over here. This side is the regular Pro Beam with the smooth bezel. This one over here is the custom rings with the lights around the bezel. So take a pick. Um, both are equally fantastic. And the next clip we'll do, we'll do a little side-by-side uh, -side comparison of a close-up view of the lights. All right, so in my hand, you can see the style of the two different lights. The one on the right is the new Custom Dynamics rings with the Pro Beam light in the center. And the one on the left is the Pro Beam uh, with just smooth bezel. So I'm going to try and not drop these in the floor right now. But you can see this chrome one is just a smooth bezel. There's no lighting on the outside edge. The black one over here now, the little dots all around the uh, ring of the bezel, those are the white LEDs. So just two different styles. Um, we, I've been running these on the left this, with this chrome bezel. I've been running those, and those are the Pro Beams, and then the Pro Beam rings on the right. We're gonna give these ones on the right an opportunity. And then hopefully in the future, I will give the new Genesis light a, a try. But what we're installing today is this black bezel and uh, everything looking great so far. Okay, we're back to the front. I have both sides installed with the custom rings and there's your lighting with the custom rings. So both sides, left side and right side and four-way flashers. And when you de they go back to that bright white to get you noticed while you're going down the highway. So custom dynamics, uh, pro beam, custom rings, lighting for the front end of your motorcycle. There you go, thank you. So the, uh, the last thing I wanted to show you here uh, with a little close up, again, you can see here that the edges here are lit up with those white lights. And then when you activate that turn signal, that center, that piercing, uh, amber turn signal lights up. So um, a little different style, instead of being a solid ring, it is uh, dots all the way around on the bezel. Um, but as you saw a while ago, once you move away from it, once you move away from it, it turns into a solid ring there from a distance. So they are very bright and um, very impressive. This up here, that's a, that's a reflection in the paint so that you didn't, you don't get too two rings so right there's your your light and that's what you get it's kind of hard to film leds here but that's what you get custom dynamics rings thanks for watching and uh go get you a set of these these uh this is a really easy um we're talking 15 minutes here that i did an install here in the garage and uh, this is a really really easy way 
to um, improve your safety by being visible. So um, good, easy upgrade.